time for the Pike Breakdown Lane on 100 FM, The Pike. We uh, do this every Friday. We collect your uh, voicemail messages throughout the week. You can comment on anything uh, during uh, the show, but uh, if you don't have a chance to do that, feel free to use the uh, Pike Breakdown Lane. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're there for you like AAA, but we'll never give you a tow. 774 <laughs> 670 Oh two three one. Here are the uh, b- best of your voicemails from the week on the breakdown lane. Hey, Mike Shu. Yeah, you know what my favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers song is the one about California that goes hello and has that line about uh, hippity hoobity, hippity doobity, humpty hump, and uh, something about Bob Marley. Yeah, hey, you should play a new Red Hot Chili Peppers song. It's great. They, they do have a new song out. Can we play uh, it? It came out yesterday. Uh, yes. I do believe we have it. So, uh, yeah, let's do the breakdown lane here, and then uh, we'll have it on. In, let's see. We'll play in about 10, 15 minutes. Perfect. All right. New Red Hot Chili Peppers coming up here. And that's true. Almost every single song they have is about California. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Here we go. Hey, Adam. I got a joke you can tell during your stand-up routine. It goes something like this. You put your microphone on your foot and you say, hey, look, everybody, it's like shoe. Oof. Wow. Should I give him, uh, should I give him, I think he should get a, uh... thanks yeah. for the call. You don't tell a comedian to tell, do you, you as a stand-up comedian, you, you don't do it a lot, but you're a stand-up right. also. Do you love it when people come up, hey, you should tell this joke on stage. My mom calls me three times a week. Oh, God, mom jokes. With an idea. I have an idea. Oh, boy. I have an idea. And then she leaves me long voicemails about it. (laughs) I'll tell her to call the breakdown lane. We'll play her jokes. If she's listening right now, if she's listening right now, watch what you ask for, Shoe. Are you out of your mind? She's listening right now. She goes, Alexa, play 100 FM The Pike. She figured that out at least. Oh, good. Well, anytime, Mrs. Webster. I mean, your, your, your son is ungrateful and he doesn't appreciate your love. So, but I do. So please call the uh, breakdown. You're lane. opening up. <laughs> we we opened up some bugs okay. yesterday. You just opened up a can of worms, okay. my friend. Okay, all right. Look, you little son of a bee. I'm gonna give you a piece of my mind. When hell freezes over, you're gonna know what it means. For an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Case sarah sarah. <laughs> Those are a bunch. We were earlier in the week talking about uh, sayings that went are going extinct. Yes, and uh, there's a whole bunch. Case sarah sarah. Oh, my gosh. Knee high to a grasshopper. Right, right. My favorite is, uh, I think my favorite out of the list that they, they provided was uh, Pardon My French. Yes. I love that. Pardon My French. But, yeah, we're talking about uh, sayings that uh, that are going extinct, unfortunately. Let's bring them back. I think it started with words. I said we don't use shenanigans enough. Or malarkey. And malarkey, right? We should, we should bring them back. <laughs> bring them back. Welcome to my goat milkshake and cauliflower. Shack. How may I help you? That's, is that Tom Brady? I think that's a Tom Brady yeah, reference. <laughs> We're wondering what Tom's going to do. I'm hoping for Tom Brady's chicken and waffle, a uh, chain of chicken and waffle stores, and I hope he balloons up to 300 pounds uh, just because I want to see a fat Tom Brady in my lifetime. Yeah. There are reports that the past few days he has really been enjoying his food. Good. I hope he's eating huge pans of lasagna. He's not eating avocado ice cream right the now. last couple of days. Yeah, maybe he'll try a strawberry for crying out <laughs> loud. Huh? Hello, Michael. This is God again. You might remember me from such things as the Bible and that message <laughs> I left last week about mayonnaise at Italian sub. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I just want you to know I heard you had some questions. and uh, Unfortunately, that's as big as it's ever going to get for you. Oh. Don't be mad. I made you that way. You're a grower, not a shower. Oh, come on. Also, Neil Peart says hi. Ouch. Oh. Wow, what did you do to God? I got a little emotional there. Man. I, I know Neil Peart is giving God drum lessons right now. I know. He's probably teaching him how to do, you know, a couple of fills here and there. Teaching him how to play along to Spirit or Radio or something like that. My yeah. mom, when she goes, God, you know... Hopefully it's not for a long time. Great, listen to you. First of all, you don't want your mother to call, and now you're talking about her death. You're she's going to have. She's going to be terrible. Like, God, come here. I have a bunch of suggestions. <laughs> I have gonna, some ideas. He's going to send her back for. A I few have more some years. ideas of things that maybe you didn't do as well as you could have, <laughs> and maybe things you could do better. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so Tom Brady started playing football professionally in 2000. 
He's now 44 years old and retired. You know who else started playing around the same exact time and is also 44 years old? Zidane Ochara. And he'll be playing tomorrow night and probably with a broken jaw. That's right. We were talking Mm -hmm. to... uh, uh, Railers captain Jordan Smotherman yesterday, and we we're talking about uh, who who was the guy who got the puck in the face? Oh, Miles McGurdy. McGurdy, yeah, took a puck in the face the got, other but night. But like like all hockey players, he got stitched up and came back out on the ice. That was tough to watch, though, man. I'm saying you can't top Zidane. Well, you can. Zidane Charo breaking his jaw and still playing in the Stanley Cup, but you can't. Soupy Campbell from the Bruins breaking his leg and staying in until the refs, you know. Wasn't it Bergeron during the uh, playoff run, the uh, the uh, Stanley Cup run that played with a broken rib? Yeah, yeah. A number of guys oh, they have. All, they all do that, Adam. Zdeno Chara, Zidane back Ochara. where he came from, he's on my New York Islanders. It's, oh, yeah, he's an aisle now. A little slower than he was. Oh, tough guy. 20-something years ago. Tough guy. He's been playing longer than some players on the team. Right, yeah. Are alive. I have been alive. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's amazing. This shout-out goes to Mike Shu. This is Sean from Auburn, Massachusetts. I just heard your comment about Allison Chains, go, and they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I completely 100% agree. They should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They are my all-time favorite band, and they rule. Go, Allison Chains. Wow. Good for you. That's yeah. what the breakdown lane's all about. That's right. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, a snarky comment. or it's, You comment on anything. This guy feels strongly about his favorite band. Right on, man. I'm totally with you. AIC good. in the Rock Hall, man. Good for you, man. So uh, you can call anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and leave a message. Uh, Don't worry, we won't call you back, and we won't sell your information. You can call the Pike Breakdown Lane.